Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is the main reason why I usually do not want to be related with black people because most black people don't really care about black people. <laughs> The Atlanta police announced the arrest here at police headquarters and detectives credited tips from the public with helping officers locate their suspect. You have attributed this incident to a robbery related motive. No other way to describe it is barbaric. The, 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 the nature of that, that video was, was extremely violent and, and concerning to us all when we saw it. Atlanta Police Homicide Commander Ralph Wolfolk says this surveillance video from Monday afternoon showing 51 year old Anthony Frazier working as a security guard to make extra money caught the community's attention. He steps out of his vehicle, is almost immediately shot, and then the gunman grabs belongings off of Frazier and walks away. Moments later, others walk up and also take items from Frazier. Wednesday. This is what I find pathetic. I love black people. But as Chris Rock said, Hey, I love black people, but I hate niggas, bro. And me too. I don't like this gangster attitude. It's not like you robbed him in a unique position and you could have run away. You just shot the guy in the back of the head. I saw the video on Twitter. It's like black gum. And slowly removed the clothes and everything. And then random people around the oh what what he got stuff? Let me take something too, my brother. He's not one of us. That's what I hate. People that are working hard, no blam. Somebody wants to make extra money, blam. Do they, do they try to get an extra job? No. It, 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 it disgusts me, if I have to be honest. I don't like people that are taking advantage of other people when they do not want to work legally. It pisses me off. The APD received tips of the suspected gunman being spotted by the shooting scene along Cleveland Avenue near I-75 in southwest Atlanta. Officers from our Zone 3 patrol units did a phenomenal job in pursuing that individual along with our gang unit. 11 Alive was there as officers flooded the neighborhood, some with guns drawn. They entered a wooded area on Connell Avenue directly behind the homicide scene. Moments later, officers could be seen walking a man, now identified by police as 30-year-old Stanley Henderson, Good. out of the woods. Snitches don't get stitches. Another wooded area across the street from the homicide scene and found evidence related to the killing of Frazier. We were able to uh, establish a um, urban encampment in which the individual was residing. Um, we conducted a search warrant and conducted a subsequent search of the location and we removed some items. Atlanta police say Henderson has at least 12 other arrests, including for violent crimes. And tonight Atlanta police still need help with this case. They say they are looking for the two other individuals on that surveillance video that appeared to take items off of Frazier after he was killed on Monday. The charges those two individuals could face coming up at 6. 12 arrest, violent crime. Why isn't he in prison? Why isn't he in prison? You, it surprises me. Certain people feel so comfortable they can keep doing something and whenever you don't stop them, they will upgrade, upgrade, upgrade their action. And every time they go to prison, they come out even worse. You need to find a way to educate these people, make it stop. But you can't do it if that culture is normal. You can't send somebody to prison, make him hate the world, come out, and when he comes out, he can shoot somebody in front of everybody, and they will just rob him. Where's BLM? BLM doesn't care about that. Where's the black guy from um, from BLM? Always gangs are called, hey man, that guy to talk, the black guy to talk bad about me, he's a white coon, he's a white man. I'm like, oh, he's a black, he's a white man with a black face? Where are all those who stated black lives matter if black lives matters then the thousands of people i saw on the street when floyd was murdered should be on the street right now say stating that the lives of these black children that are dying every night matters we can't I, be hypocrites. our problem is when black lives are oppressed and don't receive justice nobody cares nothing happens something happens to a white person the world moves right so um let's get back to eric adams this, this, this mayor who spews, who is a Democrat, but he spews conservative and Republican talking points. At the end of the day, we have a name for someone like this. And this is someone we call a right? Because of, Whoa. he's a black man and he's a white man in blackface and a very conservative minded white man at that. That's why you call black people with their own opinion? Come on, bruh. That weird Al Sharpton, dumb, weird guy, old, like a gangster with like a Goku hairstyle. Nobody's talking about that. 
These people don't care when black on black crime is happening. Look how many, look how many cops were there. Why the heck would white cops be there to arrest a black man if the country is so racist when you're already killing your own? You're doing a great job for the white supremacists, right? I don't know, man. It, it just disgusts me sometimes in life how I see things and I'm always white. But still, I'm always wrong for the black people that says, well, you don't understand us. What, what should I understand? That you have so much rage that you kill your own people and you don't create an organization to protect your own people, but you will create it when the white people attack you. Nah, bruh. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. What you're saying, the only reason you care about BLM is because you only respect the white people that can help you against the white people. You don't care about the black people that want to help you against your own black people because you don't see your own black people as a solution because you know that subculture that exists is the worst thing that you don't even want to mention it. You're like a ninja now. I'm gonna run away. Yeah, I can't be a ninja now, don't you? Anyway, just let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And yeah, see you guys next time. Don't get me wrong. My ghost is a bong.